everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. So the other week I published a video for you. It was a really raw one, it was a vlog. I haven't done one of these videos before. I took you through, I guess, what was going inside my home, but also inside my head. So as you watch this video, you would have seen me go through my house and decluttering for 10 days, 10 things each day. Now, I wanted to share with you the transformation and how decluttering my home and getting on top of things again really helped improve my life. And most importantly, what I discovered and realized from doing this decluttering exercise because it's been really important to me and really insightful. So this is what I learned. So the first thing I realized that the moment I started decluttering is removing items from my home or reducing the amount of items from my home, it created immediate mental clarity in my head. At the moment, I have so many big projects on the go and I have so many colliding deadlines. No wonder I'm feeling overwhelmed and anxious right now. There is a lot of pressure and stress and responsibilities on my shoulders at the moment. As I removed each item or you know, let go of each item, I could start to see clarity in my life and I could start to see actually really what is going wrong so that I could then put the strategies in place to help stop this overwhelming feeling from happening again or getting as bad. And what this exercise allowed me to see is at the moment, I'm adding to my plate continuously without actually taking things off my plate. Now on, if someone wants to give me a new project or a new task to do, they either have to wait or I have to make sure that I get something off my plate or off my list of things to do before I go and say yes. And that simple awareness and then that decision to fix this has really made me feel like I'm back in control again and I am driving my life and I'm taking control in a proactive way to help manage my stress and anxiety. The second thing that I realized is I actually need to do more things for myself. I realized how much I enjoy let going of things, releasing things, and being able to see behind all the stuff what I truly value, what I love, and what I appreciate. And for me, it's a beautiful act. It's actually kind of like a hobby or a passion project in having minimalism in my life. Doing this was felt so good that in fact, I actually need to do other things in my life that make me feel good about myself and fill my cup, not just decluttering. So the awareness that I've gained for myself is realizing that I need to start including other nice activities and habits and passion projects in my life to help me feel full again and to help me feel alive and help me feel connected with myself. And you know that saying, all work and no play makes Jack or Jill a very boring person? That's where I think I was starting to fall into the trap of. But this newfound awareness is now gonna allow me to make the changes in my life. And I'm gonna make sure that I get to the gym more often, start seeing my friends a lot more often, and also have some time just on my own, getting out of the house and getting some fresh air and spending time with nature. And of course, these things are all gonna to contribute to my mental health resilience. The third thing I realized is I'm not a fraud. In my vlog, I really started to beat myself up because I assumed that I was, you know, incorporating minimalistic philosophy in my life. As I discovered more and more things that I didn't think I actually owned, I found it really confronting and I felt really ashamed and embarrassed and I actually called myself a fraud. Things you find. But actually in watching this and having a bit of perspective now, I realized I'm not a fraud, far from it. I'm just a normal everyday person who really appreciates minimalism and really tries to live a life in alignment with minimalism. But I'm also surrounded with the same responsibilities and challenges as everyone else. The temptations, the distractions, the impact of social media in our lives. And also I have a young family. I have three kids and I also need to really respect their stuff, what they value, what they appreciate, and understand that we live in a household together as a family where it's all about respecting and giving each other unconditional love for whichever way we choose to live our lives. So no, I'm not a fraud. I'm just doing the best I can do and really trying to live my life in alignment with minimalism because that's what makes me feel good. 
but also respect all the other family members in my home. All right, so the fourth thing is I was saying is, and I know this sounds like a no brainer, but the less clutter I have in my life, the happier I am. I feel so much calmer, I feel cleaner, I feel lighter, I feel more present. And for me, I really need to make a conscious effort to stay on top of the clutter and make sure that I am on a consistent basis reviewing cupboards, drawers, closets, like stuff in my life so that I don't let it get out of control and feel overwhelmed again. I guess if I can be really mindful and present in observing what's around me and how I'm feeling, I'll be able to maintain minimalism on a more sustainable level, which is really important to me. You're not a minimalist, are you? You like stuff. And then number five, the less stuff I have in my life, the richer my life is. I have way more focus, way more determination, way more clarity, way more direction. I feel better about looking inside my bin, seeing that they're so empty and there's not much stuff in there. It makes me feel good about not contributing towards landfill. I also have so much more time when I have left stuff. I'm not having to waste time looking for things or tidying things up or putting things away because there aren't as many things to put away. It just adds so much more efficiency to to my life and of course my bank balance. When I have less stuff in my life, I don't feel obliged to like fill it up with new things, particularly when I'm really making a conscious effort to regularly declutter and remove excessive, the wastage, anything that's like financially toxic in my life. So for me, minimalism, decluttering and living a life with less stuff actually makes me wealthier, both for my bank balance and inside my head heart and mind. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching my vlog. I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you thought of the vlog, whether you'd like more decluttering vlogs and whether you'd like me to share with you more about my minimalism journey because it's definitely been a game changer and it has really shaped me into the person that I am today and I am eternally grateful. All right, everyone, I hope that you're well and let me know what you think.